don't follow anything that's on the computer for the late model. She said it's all messed up. Okay. All right, we got late models heat race number one on the track right now. I'm being joined up here with Mike Patterson. That's Mike, right. good to be working with you again. Hey, it's always a pleasure to be working with you guys here at Moxie Media up in the Mike Mosier Tower. God, I love being up here. We we're going to take you through the line. We have four cars in this first heat race. Let's see. Right now we've got outside row number one. Wow, we've got two number 22s. He's brought everybody tonight. Holy <laughs> cow, they're coming out of the woodworks tonight. As they come to the start-finish line, we've got Bartels as well as the, the 10N of Rob Sanders and the, two 22s. The 22G of Paul Guglielmani. And I wonder who's running the other 22 with him tonight. Nick Bartels is your leader at a turn four. Lap one, here comes the Sandman. Rob Sanders going to drive up next to him, put a door on him into turn number one. Sanders going to sling it in down to the bottom groove in the gutter. Hammer down, rides to the top. He will be your leader. Down the back stretch into turn three. Bartels looking for an open hole in the bottom. Sanders going to slam the door on him. He is wicked fast in that 10 in on the bottom of the racetrack. The fastest car we've seen so far on the night on the bottom. Absolutely. He's been able to carry more speed down there and more momentum than anybody else we've seen so far. But that might be just the late models themselves with those big old tires on the back be able to keep that momentum rolling through the bottom. Well, right now he is looking very, very good at a turn two down the back stretch. Sanders has got this thing all dialed in. I've heard his confidence is through the roof since the big win down at Santa Maria. And right now he's showing how comfortable he is in the number 10 in as he is the leader over the 27 of Nick Bartels. Then it's the 22X and the 22G of Paul Google and Money. Those cars are identical. Hard to tell who's who from I the Mike Mosier Tower. Can't tell as of yet. We'll find out once the uh, transponders tell us who it is. Five laps down, three to go. It is Sanders all by himself. He has checked out. It is, this is his race to lose. Absolutely. Look at very good. Look at how fast he is in the bottom as he drives that car in, throws it sideways, drops the hammer. So right now we've got Sanders out in the lead. He's over seven car lengths over Bartels. Bartels about a half a straightaway ahead, if not more, than the 22. I believe that's the 22X. Yes, the 22X. That is 22G of Google Amani. The white flag was taken last time around. Your winner at a turn number four is the 10N of Rob Sanders, the Sandman, looking very good here in his heat race of the Budweiser Nationals. Nick Martels will finish second. Then it's the 22X and Paul Google Amani at the back of the pack. What a run for the 10N of the Sandman. Yep, from the get-go, he put hammer down and said bye, everybody. You know, we talked with him earlier out in the pit area as we were kind of doing our pit walk and seeing who's doing what, and he was very, very confident in that race car, very comfortable and very relaxed. That's the first time I've seen him in a few years that relaxed. A lot of times he's kind of antsy, kind of nervous, want to get out there. This one, I guess that big race over at Santa Maria, really put a, uh, a feather in his cap and gave him a little bit of swagger. Heat race number two on the track right now on the inside of row number one out of Jefferson, Oregon. That is Todd Sieg in the number 08. From, he is from Sweet Home, Oregon in a Swartz chassis. That is Kai Frick out of Corbett, Oregon in the Superman car sponsored by Discount Race Car Parts and Swear Trucking. That is Colin Weinbarger in the number 2R. That is Rod Oliver out of Yuba City, California. Here we go. Green flag. Good start for Sieg. Sieg will lead the field into turns 1 and 2. Look at Colin Weinbarger on the bottom. Late arrival onto the track is the 11X of Steve Drake. Drake will start way behind. We're going to drop a caution. We're going to drop a caution. He got out just in time. We know how important these heat races are here at the Budweiser Nationals. Steve Drake, talk about being a late arrival to the racetrack. He was a late arrival onto the racetrack. Yeah, absolutely. He, as soon as the green flag flew, he came off of the backstretch airborne <laughs> onto, uh, into turn three and four. It, you're not joking. He really did. I mean, he, he launched that thing like he was Bo Duke. Well, this, what happens when you got back-to-back, you, you got your IMC Modifieds. Right. Then you're running late models, and they're running both divisions. And so, anyway. The yeah, it's, it's really hard with Steve because he's pitting for his son, Logan, and Logan's pitting for him and back and forth. So, as one's well, helping the other and back and forth, it's been crazy. And we're going to do a complete restart. That's good. That yes. is good. And Steve Drake's pit area is way back there. Oh, my God. On the turns three and four. He's got a long ways to go to, to swap cars. Now, I know everybody in the front goes, oh, wait. They gave... 
Drake a chance to catch up to us? We didn't have a lap down. He got on the track. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to go green this time out of turn four. There we go. We're back underway in racing. Full and complete restart. Todd Sieg, Kai Frick, your front row. Sieg looking good in the bottom. Look at that 51. All kinds of hooked up. And look at Drake. Steve Drake Five powers out of, out of the two. high side like he was launched from a rocket. Now going to go upstairs through turns three and four. Battle up front. Kai Frick, Todd Sieg side by side. Steve Drake. <laughs> Drake's going to get a heck of a run right here. To the inside. Look at the move by oh. Steve Drake. Drake drove it to the top From of turns one and two. First. Off the bottom out of the back stretch, and he picks up the lead. He'll lead lap number two. Drake, Frick, Sieg, Weinbarger, and the 2R. That is Rod Oliver. What a move by Steve Drake. We know how fast he is here. We've seen him win the Budweiser Nationals, driving like a man on a mission right now. Absolutely. He earns his nickname and shows you why he's got it. The Snake weaving his way through traffic up to the point. There is nobody so far to this point in the program who's been as fast as Drake is on the top of turns one and two. Look at Weinbarger with a big move into turn three as he threads the needle between Sieg and Oliver. Yeah, Weinbarger got up on Sieg and wanted to see what's inside of his fuel tank. Well, right now, Weinbarger is watching Flat with Drake. on Sieg on the 51 on the front stretch. Weinbarger is watching what Drake is doing. He knows the high side is fast. He has moved up to the top. Superman running third behind the 08 of Kai Frick and the 11X. Yeah, Kyle. Or, uh, Steve Drake. Colin Weinbarger was trying to get up there a little bit earlier, but the 51 and the 08, the tail end were sliding up there, so he couldn't get any momentum, had to keep checking up. As soon as he got a good run on the 51 he was right there on the back stretch able to get under him unfortunately got under him and he cut the right rear tire of the 51 car well that's a tough lesson to learn for Todd Sieg Todd Sieg makes the drive up from Oregon one and done here in the heat races you got to be on your game that is a tough lesson to learn and we'll see what he does uh, here hey, later on in the main Corey, event next time by I want you to take a look at the 11x car tell are me you what talking you about the camber on the right front Boy, that sucker is more than 45 degrees. Listen, I've seen a lot of guys run a lot of camber on, on these late models. I have never seen anybody now, run camber like, run sideways. like he is doing on that Wolfpack Rocket chassis. We're going to look him over at a turn four. We've got a green from Doug Ryan. Here we go. <laughs> Once again to the high side goes the snake. And around the high side with a launch off the back stretch. Stretches out to about a three-car length lead. Colin Weinbarger in third spot in the Superman car doing the same thing. Trying to make it stick up there, but not much can stick like Steve the Snake Drake. Unbelievable watching what Drake is doing on the high side. Kai Frick holding his own down on the bottom in the 08. Here comes Weinbarger. Weinbarger now going to challenge for the second spot. Drives to the top. Look at Frick on the bottom. Drove away from Weinbarger out of the fourth turn. Weinbarger drove something. it way deep into three there and got up over the cushion. Something is going on with that 08 car. It keeps losing power, then launching like he was just shot from a slingshot. White flag is out for Steve Drake. He has got nearly a straightaway lead over Kai Frick and Weinbarger. Weinbarger, heavy sparks off the right rear corner on the brakes. See if he can get by Frick. He's racing for the second spot. He gets by him. Your winner at a turn number four. All by himself up front. Steve Drake in the 11X. Second will go to Colin Weinbarger. Kai Frick will finish third. And Rod Oliver rounds out the back of the pack. What a run for Steve Drake. Absolutely. <clears throat> but talking about that 0-8, there definitely looks like something's wrong there. Maybe a miss in the ignition system. Because it looked like it rolled really good through the turns. As soon as he got on power on the back stretch, it died and then picked up again. That was the thing it was doing here on the front stretch, too. He'd get on the throttle and it would come down the straightaways and lose power. He would rock it through the corners and then slow on the, on the uh, straightaways. We're going to move into heat race number three for our late models. Taking you through the lineup on the inside of row number one out of Lindsay, California. That is Corey McDonald. Outside of him in the number 37 from Santa Maria, Chad Weber. Inside row number two, it's going to be Tumbleweed in the 38T. That's Dylan Thornton. And on the outside, row number two, the 91T from Arroyo Grande, California, Tony Toast. And driving the number 74, that is Dennis Souza. And outside of him, the number 57 is Roy Small. We're going to go green. We've got a green from Doug Ryan. Good start for the 15M of Corey McDonald. McDonald down the bottom in the 15M. Here comes the 38T, Dylan Thornton. He was looking good in hot laps earlier today. Look at the big move into turn three on the bottom. He's trying for that top spot. He's going to go to the front. He's bringing the 91. Look at Tony Toast. Toast, a little bit of contact between him and the 37. 
of that's, Chad that's, Weber. Weber off the pace, now back on the throttle through turns one and two. Toast sits in the third spot. Oh, your leader into the turn three and four wall. Look at the move by Tony Toast. Toast goes from third to the front. He's going to bring Corey McDonald with him. McDonald now sits second. He tried him in the turn one. Couldn't quite get under Tony Toast. Tony Toast has got a ton of forward bite in the 91T. Dylan Thornton's having a really hard time getting that car to set in three and four, and it slides over the top shelf once again. Luckily, this time he wasn't able to, he didn't lose any laps. Well, now Thornton looked good through turns one and two, but right now all by himself. He is running away from the field. Tony Toast of the 91T, he is out of here like last year. Take a look at him run. Here comes Thornton. Tony Toast in that rocket chassis sponsored by Monarch Storage. That thing is on point tonight. Now Dylan Thornton's starting to come on as he moves in the second spot as he gets by the 15M of Corey McDonald. The 38T looking good now. He's got he's got it figured out through turns three and four. He dropped it down about a car length and a half going into turn three and setting it up a little bit better there. Let's see if he can reel in Tony Toast right now. I'd say Tony Toast has got the car to beat. He is the fastest late model we've seen to this point. That thing is dialed in on the throttle way before the apex. He's got the hammer down. He's letting it ride up front as the leader. Oh, oh. trouble. Corey McDonald sitting second or third. Comes to a near stop. There's the white flag for Tony Toast. Corey McDonald saves his third position, surprisingly so. Yeah, well, everybody behind him slowed down going, why is he pointing the wrong way? But he kept the momentum going. No caution flag. Wings were still running. Tony Toast picks up the win at a turn four. The battle is going to be for third spot right now. Because all four of those cars, you can throw a blanket over the top of them. goes to the 38T of Dylan Thornton. Here comes the mess out of turn four. The third spot will go to the 74 of Dennis Souza over the 37 of Chad Weber. Then it was the 15M of Corey McDonald and rounding out the back of the pack, the 57 of Royce Mole. Absolutely, what a race. Chad Weber in that 805 sponsored car. Started up towards the front, had a little issue there and a run in and able to recover for a solid fourth place finish. We're going to turn it over right now to Sully, because here they come, the Mod Lights. Thank you very much, guys. Once again, Mod